Okay, so a general approach you wanna take in introducing any math topic is the idea that you always wanna work from concrete, then to pictorial, and then to abstract. So concrete meaning you give the student actual pieces. Here I have three turtles, right? Um, pictorial would be a picture of three turtles. So they can count them, but they can't get their hands on them like they can the concrete. And eventually you get to abstract where your problem would just say three turtles. And by then the student can picture in their mind what three turtles looks like, how much is that? But we can't assume that when they see the word three turtles, that the students are able to picture three turtles and imagine having three turtles. So we always go from concrete, then we add pictorial alongside the concrete, and then we add the abstract alongside the pictorial, alongside the concrete. Um, don't be hasty to take away the concrete. Let the students have the concrete as long as they want them. Um, the concrete might eventually become something that's kind of, you know, in between concrete and pictorial would be say something like our Numicon. Um, that's a three. They'd get that. They'd see a picture of three turtles and they'd have a three like this. It's not three turtles, but it's a three that they can get their hands on. Um, gentle steps towards the abstract, but don't push it, don't rush it. Here's another example of concrete. Um, when you start dealing with fractions, here's three-fourths of a pizza. Uh, pictorial, again, would be a picture, three-fourths, and the abstract would be just the numbers or the words, three-fourths. Um, here's another example of um, the progression. Here's a 10 frame with 10 fossils. Um, that would be concrete, a way of counting in a base 10 system. Um, pictorial would go to something like this. On this worksheet, we have a 10 frame just with dots filled in, just a picture. And this is the problem right here of 10 plus three. And then again, the um, working eventually to the abstract, the students would just see the numbers 10 plus three on a page. But um, always give them the option to have the concrete. Um, and then towards something that could be used, like the, the Numicon is great. Um, it could be used in any problem. This could represent um, three turtles. This could represent three fourths of a pizza because you can imagine the fourth missing there um, and that kind of thing. So, but again, one more time, don't take the concrete away too soon. What I've seen is that students will let you know when they're ready to move on from the concrete. They'll go, oh yeah, I don't need that. They'll just go to the picture. Um, or when they're ready to move on from the picture, they'll go, oh yeah, I don't need that. And they'll just know what three-fourths is. But don't push it. You don't have to take it away too soon.